Good morning, guys. Early morning drive to the lake. I've taken off here. It's been about three weeks since I've gone fishing, and that is too long. That's a long time for me. No bass fishing, no crab fishing, no nothing. I uh, went on vacation with my wife. Much needed vacation. The vacation's for her. It's not for you. All you young guys, never quit dating your wife. I need to go fishing. So today we're going to do something that I've never done. We are going to go stare at LiveScope all day long, never take my eyes off of it, and try to catch largemouth. Um, I live in Missouri. I am uh, live just south of Kansas City, Missouri, and I'm driving south. I've been driving south here. Drove through some snow where I live. It's cold. It's still January. It's nasty. So we're doing some wintertime LiveScope bass fishing. See if I can catch them. I've never tried it. Um, I feel like I have the crappie down pretty good. Got them dialed in. I know what a crappie looks like. I need to go learn what a bass looks like. I'm going down to a little sneaky hole down here in Arkansas. Um, a little power plant lake. So the water will be warmer. Uh, the fish will be active. Uh, let's go see. It's supposed to blow about 15 miles an hour today. It's 27 degrees right now. Not idea. A lot of people don't go fishing now, but I'm itching. I gotta go. I can't. I can't sit at home anymore. So, all right. Uh, let's go see. This ought to be interesting. A few copy guys. Yep. Click. Don't even look at the video. I get it. This is for me. I will continue to do some crappie videos. Of course, I'm gonna go try to catch us some three pound crappie here within the next month and a half. Right now. Wintertime bass and live scope. Let's go see if we can do this. Okay, guys, turn that boat off. Just got here, set the trolling motor down. Coolest thing that Bass Tank has done for me is they have linked together the units. All three units are linked together. 30 years tournament crab division. I've never had units linked together because I would install the units. And I wasn't very good at it. So, just being honest. And man, if I turn it on up there and I could see the depth, I was good to go. What I've done, I've drove out here and look at the bait. Today we're bass fishing, but you, this applies to any fishing. It's winter time. Um, even though the water temperature is 59 degrees, we'll talk about why it's 59 degrees in, this, in January and my hands are freezing because it's 27 degrees power plant lake produces hot water so but look at the bait <laughs> bait everywhere so and then bait on live scope so let's set up our live scope back here um and what i'm going to do is set this uh gopro back here and hopefully you guys can watch me cast to these bass if we ever get to see a bass <laughs> so let's go through my settings All right first thing i'm going to do um home ah that's not what i wanted live scope come on now menu sonar setup appearance first thing i'm going to do i'm going to check two things uh, color color scheme there's two color schemes that i'll use and i think everyone uses amber and black emerald i love black emerald Ooh, i like that that's cool just started using it this year a lot of crappie guys in love with it i'm in love with it especially on this side down imaging um something else to always check something people don't look at and look back here i'm always up there fishing so i haven't even messed with this one color game don't use default mess with this color gain i like my color gain up about 78 to 75 let's start 75 back here back 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 okay um and forward we can do all that good thing about this this is a um uh 86 12 right here and it's touch screen so it's kind of easy we're in 53 foot of water so i'm gonna pan this down to about 50 foot there's a bass right there look at him Come and eat them shad. Look at that. Ooh, I'm ready. Okay, gain. I don't want to. What's your gain set at? What's your gain set at? The gain set at whatever it needs to be set at to get all that away. Look at that. Look what I just did. See that fuzz? I hate that fuzz. I hate it. I don't like that. You run it how you like. I like to get that fuzz all the way out. Usually that's around 55 to 65. Right here, it's at 62. Right there. Um, we're shooting 70 foot out in front of the boat and 50 foot down Gains at 61 something else everyone wants to what is that right there? That's a ball shot. He scared me um, So in our setup noise rejection low TVG low I haven't done my update yet for my ghost tree I need to do that as deep as, my, as deep as I'm fishing <clears throat> My ghost tree will be way out here. And I won't even see it today. So I'll be fine Shallow water it would kill me um, 
but you can see it's way out there 40 feet so we'll see it shouldn't affect us but there i am that's how i set mine up we'll go through that every day we go fishing everybody wants to know how to set it and, and something i want to say guys even though you you can rewind this and put your settings exactly like mine your unit may read different than mine i've sat right beside my father i've sat right beside jeff lewis um people my buddies and have the exact same settings and they look you jump boat to boat and they look completely different 8612 the processor is faster this is the high-end model so it's just like a computer it's reading faster that's what the 8612 does so that's what we have so let's see if we can't catch a bass how about that <clears throat> there's the setup let's go i'm freezing right. let's see if we can't find ourselves a bass umbrella rig I hate this thing. I hate it. <laughs> I don't even like anything about it. So let's use it. It's funny. I hate it, so let's use it. So what we're doing, just like you wouldn't crappie fishing, we're panning left, right, left, right, looking for a fish. There's a bass right down there. So that bass is underneath them shad right there, eating. Not very big, but here it comes. There he is. First. <laughs> First cast. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. <laughs> he hammered it. Oh, I'm not very good with the old lady. Don't want to hit. Oh, I'm a rig. I suck at it. Ooh, he come jumping. He come jumping after. That's a good sign. Might have been a crappie. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. just have moved up and it looks like they just moved up Ooh, that feels heavy oh that's a big one golly that's a big one woohoo baby stay down quit jumping Or is that to pick up the spinning reel? Ooh! <laughs> Five pounder? He's not done yet either. I don't know why I'm getting down here. Oh my. He may be bigger than five pounds. Oh. Let's see if I can grab this. Oh no, he ain't done. He ain't done. Hmm. Kill me. What's that fish weigh? Four and three quarter? Don't get my guess. What's your guess? Man, there was a bunch of them there. Yep. Four fifty. Woo! Good one. Yep, yeah, bud. Let's do that again. 
bait dropping down to his face. He sees it. If he's gonna eat it. Oh, he ate it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was badass. Feels like a big one. Look like a big one on the screen too. Oh my gosh, he spit it. Oh, oh, it was a giant. Oh, that was a freaking giant. Oh, he spit it out. Oh, shit. God dang it. Well, there's a school of bass. No doubt about it. Oh, he hit it. Gosh dang it. Oh, golly. Come back and got it. Well, the whole school's coming with him. Oh, good one. Woo! <laughs> Golly! That's a good one. Woo. Yeah, bud, come here. I'd like to get back in there if you'd love me. Yeah. Woo. That's right where you want them. Ah. Get back in there. I gotta get back in there. Where'd they go? That was a giant school bus. Golly! Where they, there they are. Look, behind the boat. Here's what I was looking for while I was out on the lake. You see the bait up top and the two dots below them. Those are two largemouth bass. Those are bass waiting for a shad or that bait fish to become wounded or fall out of that uh, school of bait fish. They just sit there and ambush and wait for one to fall down to them. That's what I looked for all day long while I was bass fishing. Okay guys, right here is a perfect example of how live scope is just a tool and not a fish catcher. As you can see, my bait is now coming from the top of the screen down. See it falling right to these fish? Falling. Look at this fish stop, this bass. He feels it coming down. Watch his, watch his body turn. He turns. He sees the bait. I lift the bait up. There you go. He lifts. You can see his tail. His head comes up. Nothing. Just because you see them on live scope does not mean they're going to bite. And here comes another bass from the right. See him coming in, he sees the bait. Next thing you know, look at the left. Two more bass will come in. There's four to five bass looking at this bait right now. And I caught approximately zero bass out of this school. You still have to figure out how to catch them, how to get them to bite, the colors, all that comes into play here. Live scope just doesn't throw them in the boat. But it's an amazing tool. Look at him fall all the way up. I drop it, I'm trying to get him to bite, never happened. God dang. That might be a crappie. <laughs> it might be a crappie, I say. I say it might be a crappie. bass out there swimming. I got a freaking crappie on. They won't even leave me alone when I want to leave them alone. Look at that. Big old, big old school bass. God dang, it's a big old school bass. Finally, get to catch one on a bait caster. Should be able to boat flip his ass. Woo! -wee. That's a big one. Uh, I said ass. I meant butt. I meant fat butt. Uh, oh, finally. It's cool. I figured out how to make that fish bite. Uh, I had to. Uh, Reel it, I was reeling it, and I just had to stop it. Cool. 
awesome. I had to stop it and let it start falling. He went, Dude. that's so freaking cool. Whew, that's on a super fluke. No flapping tail there. See them bass down there? 30 feet. Right below the ship. Wind blowing 20 mile an hour. Weight's moving. How do you ever get your bait 30 foot down and catch one? That's the problem. Pants are spooking. Chasing these bass down. Hard to do. They're swimming as fast as they can away from the boat. I mean, they're hauling ass. And they're 35 foot down, and I'm trying to put a half ounce jig down in their face. I've tried bigger jigs, but I can't get them to bite it. Here's a cool video guys. At first glance you look at this giant bait ball up here to the top right of the screen and you think there's no bass in it. The more you turn that transducer you will see them just appear. See the, the brighter white dots there are the bass and they're right in this, this bait ball. And my trolling motor transducer, I'm sorry, my transducer is on my trolling motor, so I just keep turning it left and right, left and right, I like to be hands free. But those things will show themselves. Sometimes it's a different angle. They will definitely show up bright right there. You can see them for sure. So uh, don't be afraid to move that transducer around around until you actually see the bass. Okay, guys, it's the next morning. I'm here in my shop in Missouri. You can hear the rain hitting the old metal roof. Um, I fished all the way to the dark. I burned daylight out. I didn't go through what I was actually catching them all in the gear and all that. I, I fished till dark. I didn't want to stop. Guys, I literally saw hundreds. I'm not exa exaggerating. Hundreds of largemouth bass on this lake we fished. Um, here's what's weird. I saw hundreds. I'm talking 100 to 150 bass in a eight and a half hour, nine hour day of fishing. I ended up with nine in the boat. So, is life scope an end all be all? Is it going to change fishing as we know it? Is it going to change fishing forever? Yeah, but it still doesn't make the fish bite, right? So, I would have been lost on my butt. I mean, I was out in the middle, and you can see if you if you watch the video, seventy foot to fifty foot of water out in the middle of nowhere. This lake was loaded with bass boats. There were people everywhere. There was thirty boats. Um, at the boat ramp at 7:30, this lake is known to have giant 10-pound bass in it. Actually, Florida strain bass, um, and there was people everywhere. There was no one fishing where I was fishing. Everyone was just going down the bank. Everyone I talked to that day, they had one to two bass, and the majority, I'd say 80% of the folks I talked to, had zero. Right? It just wasn't a good day for bass fishing. That happens. But I was, I was able to catch. I think my five weighed uh, 20 and a half, 20 and three quarter pounds. So that's an amazing day for me. Uh, you catch 20 pounds of bass on a lake you'd ever been to before in your life, that's pretty good. I wouldn't have done any of it without live scope. So live scope is amazing, but you can see I went through a lot of baits. I started the day um, with that Jinko A-Rig. Um, you could see they did not I had two bites on this thing and caught zero fish. So that's how I wanted I wanted to go out and throw this. I want to talk about the A-Rig in the winter. That didn't work. So next, I'm throwing the big giant booty shaker with that Jinko underspin. This is how I wanted to catch them right here. This is, I wanted to power meet them fish. And you can tell, just like when you're crappie fishing, I can tell, I could see bass on that live scope and I could throw that big bait next to them fish. You could just tell by their body, they weren't gonna hit it. They'd follow it all the way up, never hit it. Um, it just, they didn't want the big baits. I don't know if it's the fishing pressure. That umbrella rig, they'd run from it. I'd throw it out there and crank it past their face and they would run and they'd go directly to the bottom or jump over 30 feet. They didn't want it. So 
Um, that's why I'm saying life scope's not end all be all, but I can still see the fish. So I started downsizing. I started uh, I started downsizing to the booty the booty shaker down to four point um, I didn't even realize I had these trimmer sheds in my boat till late in the day. And what I did, I put on a Zoom Super Fluke, which is a straight tail. I ended up catching some on that until I found these trimmer sheds. Trimmer sheds seem to be the deal. What's cool about them, they don't have that paddle tail. Everyone's into that paddle tail um, with their swim baits. This one's just a straight tail. So if it's if more finessey, I found they wanted just a straight tail instead of that big thump, thump, thump of the booty shaker. Right? They wanted that straight tail because they were so finicky and like they were scared to death. So that ended up being a good bait. And the little bitty Kytec, little bitty 3.3 Kytec. And what's crazy is I have a whole boatload of the Kytec, just like everyone else, swim baits. And I had to go through four or five different colors. And I had three of them tied on at the same time. And that was the color they wanted. I don't even know what that is, guys. I'm not very good at my best stuff yet. But that's the color they wanted. And I used it on a spinning reel. I was hoping I didn't have to use a spinning reel, right? I've been... I want, I'm a bass fisher now, and I, like everyone else, I want to power fish them, and I want to use my bait casters. You can see in the videos, like, holy crap, I got to catch one on a bait caster. Um, but I, I, so I only had one spinning rod stuck in the uh, in the boat. I didn't think I was going to use it, but I could tell as finicky as they were. We had to downsize, and that's and you know, using I'm, I'm not afraid to use the spinning spinning reel, the spinning rod. I did use. Uh, uh, braid down to fluorocarbon. I used 10 pound spider wire down to 8 pound P line fluorocarbon, and that's how I finesse those fish. Um, I grew up using a spinning reel. I'm very comfortable using a spinning reel, but like every best guy, who doesn't want to use a, a bait caster and a giant 7 foot 6 rod when you can? They just didn't want it. They wanted something finessey and, and finicky, and it's amazing to watch those bass. They, same thing with crappie fishing. Um, you see those fish react to the bait. There are, you know, I think I caught nine, I said, and I think maybe three of them attacked the bait. Uh, I did find, it was crazy, there was a bass uh, up in eight foot of water, I threw that swim bait by him, that uh, trimmer shed, over top of his head, he saw it, and he followed it, 70 foot out, all the way to the boat, and I just opened my bail, and let that thing fall. He was at 10 to 12 foot, that thing fell all the way down to 55 feet and he hit it just like that. Then bass dropped that far and hit it. He hit it another 40 foot deeper than when he initially saw the bait. That's some crazy stuff. Live scope is showing you some crazy stuff of how these fish react. Um, hopefully you like this video. I know all you crappie guys, most of you guys are here to see me crappie fish. Trust me, we'll do plenty of it, but I'm going to go chase these bass too. This live scope, I think I can... I can get out in front of a lot of the best guys unless live scope doesn't scare me because I've been doing it for crappie. So I'll try to utilize it. I don't know how much I'll utilize it in the tournament, especially when they start spawning. But hopefully you guys will uh, subscribe to the channel below, like this video. Uh, we'll do a lot more videos coming up. I wish I was fishing today. It's Saturday and I'm sitting in my garage. I'm going to go edit this video from yesterday, um, but it's pouring down rain. I was going to go down to Wright Patman down in Texas. I've never been. I have a National Professional Fishing League coming up there this uh, this spring. I was going to go drive around the lake. 26 mile an hour winds and 100% chance of rain. Ugh. So I was going to go to Truman Lake, my home lake here. 100% chance of rain. Just, there's just days you just throw in the towel. I hate throwing in the towel. I'll go. I'll go in the snow. I don't care. But today was not a good day. So we'll edit the video. Um, we'll get geared back up and, and ready to go. I may... Uh, I got a BFL coming up at Table Rock. Before that, I might sneak off to a little sneaky hole and try to catch us a uh, three-pound giant crappie. I got to do that. And about March 1st would be a good time to do that. So I may just go bass fishing at Table Rock, take what I learned um, on this trip to Arkansas here, and take it down to Table Rock. This is my first time using live scope. Um, all day long. I've had live scope and I've bass fish tournaments, but last year when I fished, I'd turn the live scope off and just beat the bank like everyone else. This is my first time to go and stare at the screen all day long. I can guarantee you I learned something. Hopefully you guys learned something too. All right, guys, until next time, good fishing.